We understand an upside down world, but they're writing us off before we get to the starting line. A stalled generation? Who do you think is going to fix all this? We will, because our future is the future. The next greatest generation is now. We all start somewhere. We start with the day. We start with him. We start with family. We start with a lesson. And the perfect wave. We start here and here. We start at your office and your home. We start with the connections that matter the most. The ones that move us. Change us. Inspire us. In an ever-expanding world, personal connections are what tie everything together. What ties us together. We all start somewhere. At GTA, we start with you. Afade, welcome to UOG Triton Esports. I am Ken. I am joined by Mark Bay here. Mark, welcome to the stream. Hello. Uh, today, we are returning with National Association of Collegiate Esports action, and we are playing Super Smash Brothers. Yes. Sir. You know, we had a good season. You guys had a good season last semester, finishing oh, yeah, in the I top 16. Um, and we started out, what, what, were we like ranked 7th? Seventh? 7th, seventh, yes. And ranked 7th. We are 8th. I believe. Are we eight now? Yeah. All right, all right. So we're getting into it. We have two teams this semester, as we did last semester. We have our varsity premier team um, with our returning athletes. And we have a new team full of uh, upstart young'uns who don't have that much experience in the game, but, you know, they're going to try their best. Uh, and they begin playing, I believe, next week or the week after. So it w we're still a while from that. We also have a few other teams. Our Valorant and Overwatch 2 teams will be playing tomorrow. Um, and we have a chess team and we have a League of Legends team. So a lot of esports action here at the University of Guam. Mark, uh, today you guys are taking on Wich Wichita State, right? Yeah. Have you guys played these guys before? Um, not that I remember, actually. Probably like a few semesters before, but I wasn't like in the team yet, maybe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. I see, I see. Did, um, so do you guys know much about the matchup? Uh, um, like, have you guys scouted anything? Yeah. yeah. So apparently they have another Steve in their team. Oh, really? Uh, that's from what I've heard. So oh, yeah, that's, we'll that should be interesting. On. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on that. What do you, uh, what do you, what do you, what do you expect this semester in terms of like I don't know placement or growth from the team? Mm. Uh, I'm really hoping we can get to the playoffs again this semester. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's our goal right now. So but we're still ranked seventh, and I, I believe I, I, I. Uh, are we the first seed in the Midwest in our division? Really? I actually didn't know that. I'm not sure. No, I actually don't know. <laughs> I, I, I think we are the first seed oh, in wow. our particular division, um, which is cool. I mean, it's pretty pretty. I, mean, I, I don't know why we're in the – by the way, can you put us in the West division instead of the Midwest? Oh, because really? the time is difficult, right? Mm, that makes sense. Like, you know, our games now are 1130 instead of 10 o'clock. Yeah. Um, which is – you know, I guess it's Friday, so it's not too bad, but that's a little more challenging, right? It really is. Um, and I think first we have uh, Baron Tricks. He's gonna be he's gonna be up first, although we don't know what the opponent will be playing. We do know what Tricks will be playing. Mm -hmm. um, Roy. Yeah, yeah, Roy, and he he's coming off that good Vic, third place finish at the Guam Nationals for Smash just this past weekend. Oh yeah. Right? He did really well. That was 64 players. Mm -hmm. He got third, and he had, like, the bracket of death. <laughs> right? I mean, yeah. how hard was his bracket? Who did he? He had Westy. He had Westy, Cello. too? He had mm -hmm. Cello. He had Westy. Um, that's it. Like, uh, to he had Goto. Oh, yeah. Can we just lower the, the sound a little bit? But the music's fine. But there we go. And I, I guess we're getting right in. Is okay. this a bun trick? Like no, I think we're right into it. Oh, wow. Here we go. The nice counter right there okay, by, right. by tricks. <laughs> and we see a Pac-Man. You know, Pac and Pac-Man gave gave our team oh. a love. Whoa, okay. We just no. let it rock. Uh, Pac-Man gave our team a lot of trouble last semester, right? 
remember in the playoffs oh, we faced them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Probably it's because I'm a matchup experience. There's no one here in Guam that plays on Pac-Man. Yep, no, no one plays Pac-Man uh, locally, so it's going to be something to get used to. But yeah. Let's see how long Brian will be able to adapt to the Pac-Man. And he's just very tricky. Like Pac-Man seems like he has like these little traps that he puts you into. You know, he uses like the hydrant or or whatever tool oh, to yeah, kind of like hydrant. catch you not blocking and respecting it. And then if you respect him too much, then he's like throw setups and. Right. Am I am I talking about this character correctly or yes, am I chat GPTing it correctly? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and here yeah, he goes. So. And so Trix is doing his best to. Keep the ledge, or Ooh. keep control of the ledge, whiffs there, but kind of weak punish. Oh, no, oh. the bell. The bell, like, it has, like, a stun, so... Ah, I see. And here we go. Oh, that fire hydrant, pretty heavy. Oh, oh no, no we got SD. that SD. Yeah. The curse of the SD. Baron, come on. Oh. Okay, you okay, got the right, right. So yeah. we are even on stock yeah, here. Even. And, you know, for those of you just watching, this is a crew battle versus another college versus Wichita, Wichita State. Can we uh, update the I'll update, update the name. So those names are incorrect up top. But um, oh, uh, the way that this <laughs> works is each team has four players, and each player has three stocks, so a total of 12 stocks. And uh, players retain their stocks the number of stocks they have after a match ends. So what that means is if Baron were Baron has lost one stock so far? Yes, um, it looks like he's struggling. So so they're both tied 11 11 total yeah. stocks, right? Yes. And then after uh, the first team to lose all the stocks loses and then we go on to the next round. So it's the best of 3. So 2 to 3 total rounds. Oh, oh no. that setup the and the setup. slap, the Pac-Man oh, slap. That was really slick for the Pac-Man. That was lit. That yeah. was a lit setup. And, you know, so now Wichita State goes up 11 to 9. Oh, man. Was that right? Yep. Or yeah. actually, I think it's, no, 10 to 9. 10 to 9. Oh, oh, sorry. That was the last stock. Yeah. has a way out one more stock. Okay, okay. So, yeah, that was you know. good for Baron. But, you know, Baron is a patient player. He kind of feels it out in the beginning first. So, you know, downloads some of that knowledge and you know, to come into the next round. Like, uh, Baron's a solid player, so uh, he's, he really surprised me this past weekend. Yeah. I thought it was <laughs> wild. But, um, you know, shout outs to Wichita State. They take the first uh, character, they take the first lead here in the game as we wait for the next two people. I'm going to go ahead and let Michael Park jump on to the ones and twos. Uh, or actually, it, it looks like Michael might be. Uh, he might be prepping the next match, or uh, yeah, the, the info for the next match. So, um, yeah. yeah. So Pac-Man, who who do you who are we gonna send up? So we got you, we got Ronnie, and we got Patrick. It's really up to um, coach. It's really up to the coach. Yeah. <laughs> you just play, right? You just kill people with this. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So I mean, but this is gonna be tough. Like, so we know that there's a. Yeah. Okay, we, we know there's a Pac-Man, and we know that there's a Steve. So those are, you know, those are, really those are tough. Opponents. Those are yeah. tough, uh, tough matchups for us, I think. So. I heard they like um, uh, they are top players in their division last semester. So yeah, it's really exciting. Oh really? Yeah. Top, top in their div division too. So is this yeah. a battle of the? I you know I need to find out. I need to pull up to see if like that really is the deal. Like, you know, are we, because I thought we were the first seed in this division. Seventh uh, seed total. So, yeah. seventh or eighth? Uh, no, I think we're the no, seventh. Wait, we're eighth. We're um, eighth? From what Michael told me, yeah, we're eighth this semester. Last uh, semester, we were seventh. Okay. Yeah. I'll take it. We're still in the top eight yeah. of whatever number of schools who are playing Smash. That's not bad. Like 30, at least 30 to 40 schools. Mm -hmm. So, as we're waiting for the... Who are we sending out next? I don't know. Is it Patrick? Patrick? Yes Patrick. Patrick with that new controller. The new Pro <laughs> controller. I don't know if he's had a chance to test it out. But we'll see. Patrick, he plays uh, Dark Samus? He plays Dark Samus and Rob. But depending on the matchup, I, I see, guess. I see, yeah. I see. 
But they're both type of like zoning type of characters, no? Yeah, actually. Pretty, pretty good online. Okay, okay. So we'll see. Oh, I heard the Rob. I heard Rob. Yeah. But this is a uh, this, this is probably just a button check right here. I mean, uh, let me while that goes on, let me go change the names. Oh okay. yeah. Test, test, test. Okay, we are back. Sorry about that, guys. We were some technical difficulties. We were just working out a scoreboard and stuff. You know, we have a new new team of athletes this semester, so they're getting their first chance of uh, experience behind the production booth. Shout-outs to, to John and Ron. As we go, and we got Rob versus Pac-Man, as we knew. Now, the battle of the two... Eccentric zoners, I guess. <laughs> yeah, they do a lot of setups, a lot of gimmicks. Yeah. So I'll see how this plays out. Three, two, Get that Dragon Quest music going on. Here we right. go. I think this is light check. Oh, okay. oh yeah, okay, yeah, it is light check. <laughs> okay, here we go. And then we'll just wait for the taunts. There we go. Here we go. Rob little yep. samba dance and we we're beginning straight with that laser. Rob oh. trying to throw the kick at that oh that it's fire like hydrant 60, usage. Ooh. Big metal punches. And hitting it with that laser. Over here, okay, okay. This does, does Rob has pretty good mobility or no? Like, does he struggle uh, if he gets pushed off the ledge or? Uh, I guess so. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, the double kicks. Oh, the key. Okay, okay. So. Ali oh, that's take whew, that setup was interesting. The bell is really what you need to look oh, out and for. And, and, and Patrick really fishing for, like, you know, some type of movement from Pac-Man that he can punish with the up air. Or up, what is that, up air? Smash? I don't know. Pac-Man just showing off his items, yeah. like, check out I my mean, jelly. Are you jelly? Bell. <laughs> oh, is that a bell? Yeah, it is a bell. Oh, okay, 142. Ooh, okay. And Rob getting getting back to the stage. Oh, but he is uh, oh, Pac-Man doing work, you know. Yeah. Oh, and that's oh, one steals stock. a stock. So, uh, you know, now Patrick hopefully can close out this final stock into the upper. There you go, up smash. Yep, that is a bang. Smash. Yeah, that takes it. All right. Okay. So that will put us at eight nine. And if we can update Westy's name to WSU, you would do that by adding a player. So you add a player, add WSU, and then click it from the drop down. So, all right, we're back in at 8 9. Now we get to see the rest of the players. And I think this is interesting. Like, this is a game that we are uh, traditionally uh, pretty strong at. 
I guess. You know, the, the Smash scene on Guam is pretty developed. So, oh, uh, you know, our team is pretty decent. But there are matchups that we just do not see. Ever. Oh, yeah. Ever. <laughs> like the plant. Piranha plant. Piranha plant. Yeah. Right? That's one. Pac-Man. That's another. Pac-Man, yeah. We used to have a Pac-Man here, but I, I guess he went off states. I don't even know who it was. So. Uh, Junior. But Junior. Oh, yeah. Junior. Yeah. Shout out to Junior. Um, yeah, so Pac-Man. That guy. Who, who else don't we really see a lot of? I mean, yeah, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, definitely. Def th those are matchups that we're just not really akin to. So, uh, glad to get that one out of the way as we move on. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see the Steve player. Oh, man, yeah. Because we haven't really faced the Steve ever. No, last semester there was no it was Steve. Just I, was, you. I was the only Steve. It was Steve. just you <laughs> wreaking havoc in the hearts of many. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Has, yeah. You know, so it's been a while since Steve's been out. There's been many tournaments and things since then. Do you think people still think of Steve the same way as they um, did, like, I mean, last semester? Like, I'd is he still pretty OP or? He's still pretty good. Yeah. But as time goes on, or as time went on, I feel like people has learned the matchup properly. Mm -hmm. So it's actually a lot harder to do, like, the stuff that I have done before. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. Because, like, they're learning. So, okay, so you can't mindlessly just <laughs> yeah. use the pickaxe on the ground and get stuff. Like yeah. All right, all right. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. That's always a cool thing about uh, competitive games, like how they evolve and develop over time. Uh, and that's why I'm not really a big fan of nerfs and buffs because I think you just got to let the let the games develop for themselves, you know? Like, oh, yeah. if, you know, people want to get better, they're going to get better. So, yeah, well, anyway. And we right now we are just waiting for Coach Michael to handle the the picks and bans. Uh, let's see who Patrick goes up against. Remember, Patrick has a couple choices here. He has uh, Rob and he has Dark Samus. So I believe uh, he can only play one character per game. Oh, is that's that what, is that's that what? the rules? Yeah. And you know, thank you, Mark, for knowing the rules that you cannot switch your character. Uh. <laughs> I didn't know that, but thank you, Mark. This is good. Oh, there was a test. There was a test. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, and you know, tomorrow, guys, we have uh, Valorant and Overwatch being played. Oh, Those man. are new games. Well, Valorant's not new. Well, no. Actually, Valorant is Valorant? a new game for us in terms of uh, intercollegiate comp competition and Overwatch. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. That, that's, that'll be about the same time tomorrow. So, definitely tune into our stream tomorrow. Um. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm pretty excited to see how the, how the, how their season turns out. I, I get, we have a good squad. We have a lot of people in the program this year. Almost 30 participants. Oh, you know, wow. some of them full time uh, veterans. Some of them rookies, new people. Some of them just blue chips. Who you know, they're they're full time students, obviously, but they yeah. um, their workload is a little too heavy, so they can't commit to it as much as others. Um, but yeah, it'll be going into the game, and it is Mega Man, Mega Man. Oh, and that's wow. another one that, is that we don't see. That we barely see, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know this guy was in the game. Actually, I knew he was in the game, but okay, and he can, he can like get the leaf shield and right. Yeah, we just yeah. barely see him. <laughs> and what does he do? Is he like a zoner too? Yeah, but actually a zoner. <laughs> this is like all zoner team. Mm -hmm. Zoner. Interesting. There's oh. a leaf. Wait, did they taunt already? Uh, I guess we just... I guess they're just rolling it to it. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Whoa. Still alive. Rob, oh, wow. he's just about that. He's like, I got these <laughs> jets in my feet. Yo, this oh, Mega man. Knocking it. This Mega Man just like, he came out the gate swinging, dude. <laughs> oh. Oh, block that laser. Oh, ooh, the right hook. Oh, up smash. There we go, the up smash. Patrick needs ooh, to play this what is that? What is that patient. thing? Oh, we got a little tornado. Ooh, the Boom. Smash. Patrick on his last stock here. And Mega Man, virtually untouched. Sitting on... And the leaves. The leaves, yeah. The leaf cross-up. Trying to set up for Gyro. Oh, wow. Okay. Mega Man, tricky. He's oh. He's rocking it. Oh, my gosh. Yo, this Mega Man came for real. 
this is gonna be rough. I mean, it's rough for you or Ronnie too because you know this Mega Man got three stocks. Oh, definitely. Let's see what Patrick can do here. Oh, he tried to you know dodge oh, it. Oh, and boom, slap. Yeah. Wow. Oof. That Mega Man is really good. <laughs> that Mega Man came. Who is that guy? Wichita State University bringing the Mega Man. That was really good. Yo. Taking out Patrick. That was. I didn't expect that, man. Mm -hmm. But you said that these guys were. Team and yes, okay, so hey, no surprise. Yeah. No surprise that they're good. <laughs> so we'll see. I don't know if it's going to be Ronnie or, or you. Who? All right, I guess I just guess it's um, Ronnie going up and I'm anchoring. All right, okay, so yeah. you're anchoring. That'll be, oh, man. <laughs> you know, this will be a good experience for you. Yeah. You know, shout outs to Baron and Ronnie. They're both playing three <laughs> games, three esports games this oh, semester. Definitely. So Just right? Yeah, so uh, Ronnie's playing Overwatch. You know, he wasn't supposed to play Smash this semester, but oh. you know, it's just we keep we keep him. Uh, he's also playing chess, and then Baron is playing Valorant, Smash, and chess. Oh wow! Which is a you know it's a hefty, and Baron also works and goes to school full time. So shout outs to Baron doing Baron. a lot, and Ronnie also. Uh, you know, busy guys, busy busy guys. So here we are. The score is six nine. Is that what it is? Nine six, or six nine. eight? Oh yeah, no, we didn't take a stock. Oh no, no, wow, right? yeah. So. Challenging. This is definitely uh, definitely challenging. Definitely gonna be challenging. But you know, I guess if there's two guys that you want in the back, holding it down, it's a Steve, and it's a uh, Ronnie. Mm -hmm. Ronnie's a so Ronnie now. Ronnie has a couple characters under his belt that he can play now. So he's got the Incineroar, which I don't know. I don't know about this matchup, but maybe, maybe, maybe you just use the revenge to eat up some of the. Oh, yes, the definitely. more uh, predictable projectiles like the leaves and then I don't know um, or you just go f go for it and just go with Kazuya yeah. <laughs> definitely Ronnie plays Kazuya now right like he does play Kazuya yeah he plays Kazuya but that's, I guess that's only for offline ah okay yeah. okay and, what, and there's the Incineroar pick so here we go there you go yeah this is first Incineroar. game to kind of shake off the rest too so mm -hmm. um, it's best of three so you guys we can lose a set and, and come back in it, but we want to keep them relatively close. So, oh, yeah. let's see. Let's get that button check here. Check that lag. Are we, are we good to roll? Ronnie's making sure he can do a short hop into whatever that is. We're good. Boom. All right. Here we and go. Look at this. This Mega Man is just like, okay, you ready? Let's do it. Oh, Here's my leaves. There oh, and there it is. There was the revenge. Oh, he oh. tries to get the side Oh, this nice zoning, it. nice little spacing on that uh, response, but just no, one hit. eventually able to get in. Oh, to get the spike. There, a little clothesline. Nice little revenge oh, uses there. Ah, it doesn't get it, oh, I love. I like. Oh, oh no! That's very unfortunate. Yeah, I do like the Mega Man's. How he's responding to forward smash, wow. but he's not dead yet. I like how the Mega Man is responding to um, the uh, attempts to get back to the ledge. You see that jump, whatever that attack is. Yeah. This Mega Man's ledge guard is actually very good against you. Oh, nice little block there. Oh man, That's so close. Oh. Back there. Oh wow, the pressure keeps on going from the Mega Man. Wow, just setting up with that throw. Ooh, so close. Yeah, Lightning smash. puts the electricity on him. Oh. Wow, that was, that was so close. very, very risky. Whoa. And, man, this Mega Man is just, he's just he's cruising right now. <laughs> he's rolling through it. Mark, I hope you have a plan. Cause oh, man. <laughs> we'll see. This guy, oh, These we got the leaves. Really good. The disc cutter, blade cutter, whatever it's called. I don't know. If it wow. Oh, wow. Just comes this in with that throw. This is really insane. I'm sorry. Yeah.
Mega Man 1. Wow. This team is really good. Alright, I guess it's my turn to play. Yep. We understand an upside down world, but they're writing us off before we get to the starting line. A stalled generation? Who do you think is gonna fix all this? We will, because our future is the future. The next greatest generation is now. We all start somewhere. We start with the day. We start with him. We start with family. We start with a lesson. And the perfect wave. We start here and here. We start at your office and your home. We start with the connections that matter the most. The ones that move us change us, inspire us. In an ever-expanding world, personal connections are what tie everything together, what ties us together. We all start somewhere. At GTA, we start with you. Okay, so, all right, and I'll be subbing in for Ken and Mark. Mark is our Steve, subbing in, or not subbing in, but he's our last remaining player on our team for this game one, right? This is the best best out of three, okay? So right now, this Mega Man, this Mega Man is pretty good, yeah. I would say. Like he's doing almost everything right, I would say. But regardless, let's see how our, our last player adjusts to the matchup. Because this is a very unfamiliar matchup. We only had like on island, 
we have only had maybe one Mega Man main, and he's currently in like Washington, I think. He's out there enjoying his life, not terrorizing us. <laughs> not, I mean, not to you know trash talk the the opponent, the, the opposing player, right? He's good. He's great yeah. at the game. Like he, he's honestly quite nice. Yeah. But we'll see how we can adjust. Hopefully, we can bring this back. This is a very big deficit right now. Three to nine. Yeah, this Mega Man has been uh, very aggressive so far. Yeah. Honestly, I think with um, our player Vault, right, he was pretty aggressive. I will say he kept chasing and, like, choking him out. But when it came to, uh, you know, uh, our player Capstu, he sort of, okay, said, okay, wait, this is this is Incineroar. I don't want to approach him, so I'm just going to chill. Okay. So we'll see how this matchup is. Steve, uh, one of the most recent characters of the game, uh, s a very much of a turtle-type playstyle versus a mid-range zoner, right? So this is going to be very interesting. I want to see how the Mega Man gets through Steve's literal walls of dirt. Yes. And he got in by using lift shield. He just jumped in. Interesting. Okay, so I think how this is supposed to go overall is that Steve is going to try his best to sort of put up a wall, either use his burst options such as minecart or maybe dash attack every now and then and get his materials that he needs so that he can effectively uh, KO Mega Man before Mega Man gets in like that, keeps up the pressure. Oh my god, see, look. So hard for Steve to sort of get in now since he has to deal with all this, all these projectiles, uh, F-Smash, Saw Blade, you know, Crash Bomber, all that, Leaf Shield even, where it just breaks the, the block. But the Mega Man's doing a good job of getting in, and Mitro is doing fairly well at keeping him out now. Now that he has a chance to do so, right. okay, he almost tried doing something there. He tried to like punishing, um, trying to get a reversal off of uh, Mega Man's aggression here. Okay, he's mining, he's chilling. He got gold. He got minecart in. Very, ooh, that was very close. He almost got KO'd. Up tilt from Mega Man is like a looks like a Ryu's sure you can. It's a very strong move. Kills off the top, really good. So if if my sure gets hit by that, that's a that's a good buy to that stock. But he gets hit by the F smash at ledge. All right, very. Very much a, a staple of the Mega Man gameplay, I would say. A okay, back throw, ledge trap. Mega Man constantly covering these jumps at ledge. Very hard for Maestro to do anything here. He covers roll very well. Gets down throw back air. Okay. So, now this is very rough. Okay, very good reaction. Up smash? No, that's F smash, but he almost got it in. It's all good. Okay. Right now he has uh, he has no more redstone. Red uh, no, not redstone. Gold for the minecart. What was that? Tried doing, he tried doing like a back throw setup with the uh, the block because it's very hard to react and attack that. He gets really early stocks. Unfortunately, he has wood uh, sword, so that smash didn't do a lot of damage. Okay, the Mega Man's fishing for some interesting setups. S absolutely smothering Steve right now, but got hit by the the burst option minecart that I mentioned earlier. Okay, the projectiles can't really go through. Okay, okay, he's uh, he tried getting diamond, but he couldn't get it. Fortunate. What's gonna happen? He's gonna go roll. No. Oh, very loud. Hey, how how do you feel like this matchup should go? Actually. Yeah. Mm. Uh, well, I feel like uh, Mitro needs to kind of handle the edge guards a little. A little bit better, I would better, say. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's a little bit difficult because Steve has to go off stage and yeah. hit maybe Bear or Andal or Bear. Yeah, and we're kind of seeing a little bit of difficulty with um, in covering that. the edge guards because I, cause I yeah. think just has a lot of options to cover. It. Indeed, and I think oh, that, but for Steve, right, I think the complexity lies in where, okay, do I go for the edge guard or the less trap, or do I just set up a wall and just get materials? Because he has no materials right now. He could go for, like, more pressure, right? I'm not paying attention to the crash bomber there. But, oh my god, what is happening? That's the, that's the literal blender. But, like I said, he has to choose between getting materials and applying pressure or going for a less trap or uh, an, an edge guard. And that's where I feel like it's very hard for him to choose right now. He has almost no materials, so right now he's there's a lot of pressure on him to choose between pushing forward or playing back and getting materials that he needs to sort of close out his stock. Right now, all he has is two bits of stone. Okay, now he has more stone. Not bad. Okay. Very, very difficult for him to do much here. Now he has no more iron. I don't think he can do side B anymore. Okay, what's he going to choose? Jump. Okay. Block. Interesting. The setup. He KOs him so early. Right now he has access to gold and diamond. He is literally wealthy, but he gets hit by an, an unfortunate S-Mash that does seal his fate because he did up a little bit too high. A little bit uh, antsy to get to stage, I would say. 
But that ends the game one, right? 07 in their favor. Okay. But now we go into game two, and we'll see how we adjust and adapt from there. Okay. We understand an upside down world, but they're writing us off before we get to the starting line. A stalled generation? Who do you think is gonna fix all this? We will, because our future is the future. The next greatest generation is now. We all start somewhere. We start with the day. We start with him. We start with family. We start with a lesson. And the perfect wave. We start here and here. We start at your office and your home. We start with the connections that matter the most. The ones that move us, change us, inspire us. In an ever-expanding world, personal connections are what tie everything together, what ties us together. We all start somewhere. At GTA, we start with you.
back going into game two. It is Capsu versus what was his name again? Mm, I I don't know who they're sending out. I believe it it is the Prana Plant. So I th believe the Prana Plants was the Prana Plants name was like I can't recall. But regardless, he is. It is Incineroar versus Prana Plant. Okay. So oh, it's already started. It, yeah, it's already started. They're getting into it. G this is uh game one. Okay. Sona versus Piranha Plant. How do you feel about this matchup overall? Funny. <laughs> it is funny. I do like seeing a grown tiger. Is he a tiger? He's uh, an anthropomorphic feline, right? Regardless, right? Absolutely lariating. Lariat? Oh, he got the regardless. Into the, oh, yeah, he's beating up it. a plant, right? <laughs> right? Trying to get that catnip, all right? right. Moving in. He okay. is one stock. Oh, he has a solid lead. I think overall. Oh, yeah. Wait, okay, so how do you think this matchup should play? Um, I'd say Rana can like, play patiently, get revenge whenever he can, and then um, yeah, get his um, chance when he can. Yeah. This Prana Plant seems to be using a lot of... A, a lot, lot of the Spike Balls. Yeah, Patui, I believe it's called. Mm. Okay, so if you could just get revenge and then get Side B or get any type of ball. Oh my oh god! Oh my god, whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay. That's gonna be a lot of damage. That is Definitely. max stack for sure. Is that actually oh, max stack? Uh, that, that, oh dead. no way! Okay, no, 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 not that's yet. That's not dead, but no. that did a lot of damage. It was I think, TNC. <laughs> I think that did like 60 damage. He's, oh, he's dead. He's no gone. way, he's dead. Oh yeah, he's my gone. god, what in the world? Yeah, he wants to keep this lead. Okay. I'm surprised they swapped out their order from last time. Now they're just going with Prompt Plant. Maybe they, just, they felt confident and they want to make sure everybody gets to play. Okay. I don't yeah. know. But regardless. Oh Capsu God, showing him that this was probably oh! a mistake. Good there. Good game. Oh, oh my God. God. Sorry, actually. <laughs> we didn't really need to say much that game. <laughs> right, we'll be right back. We're going to talk to the opposing team. Sorry, I'm to the mic. All right, we are back going into the next game. Right now, we are it is we are maintaining a solid lead, 11 to 9. Very soft, very nice, very nice. So we saw a bit of the Pac-Man last game. Okay. I would say that he's he's pretty solid as well. Okay? Yeah, he knows how to. Because Pac-Man is a somewhat like a I would say like a, like a zoner, but not exactly. Right, you can't just use down B and like neutral B to zone. So I feel like he's more of a trapper in that sense, where he tries tries to set up stuff. Okay. He'll set down his hydrant. He'll throw like a strawberry, a mango, uh, a melon, but mostly he wants to get Galaga, or he wants to get uh, the, the bell. bell. Yeah, the, the bell. bell's probably one of my more, more uh, preferred like items for Pac-Man because I just like bell. It's really fun. It's a nice combo center. Kill confirm. You name it. Mixed with hydrant. 
it's, oh, no. it's deadly. Yeah. It's a very strong tool overall. We barely get any Pac-Man matchup experience here in Guam. Yeah, we don't. Really yeah, we we don't have. One. <laughs> <laughs> we we, we <laughs> don't have because yeah, he's a weird character. We don't have a lot of weird characters. We have more of the standard characters, yeah. I would say. You, know, you see a lot of Rob. You see a lot of like sorties, stuff like that. So right now, okay. We do we do have we technically have a de deficit in terms of stocks like in the game. But right now, all we need to do is maintain a sort of lead and just get as many stocks as we can, right? Just basically like extra credit. Just get as much stuff as you can. Okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. Right now, Caps to He's fishing for it. side B, getting revenge, and He's making sure to get his B. condition up. Yeah. I think that's the that's the Caps 2 classic. Yeah. But even with the lag, it's actually kind of difficult. It is, yeah, I would say. For sure. I think that uh, zoners or particularly more defensive characters do benefit since they don't have to push aggression too hard, right? They just have to like sort of keep stuff out and then, okay, they're jumping, I'll just cover jump. Yeah, but right. with um, Incineroar, if um, he gets stolen an item at, he could just get revenge. True. That is very much true. Oh. Oh, that's a punish. That is. A and he's not dead? He right? is not. It's from center stage. It is what it is, I think. Oh, that's he the key. He gets fair to keep. Interesting setup there. Yeah. I don't see. I actually have not seen that at all. <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> almost, almost got sent to the shadow realm. Okay, oh, wow. he almost got a really solid combo there. But right now we did, we did what we needed to do. We got, we have a more of a substantial lead in terms of stocks. So we'll see how we push forward. Yeah. Hopefully we can get even more. Oh, to get revenge. Yeah, it was, it was close. It was close. All right, we got hydrant. Okay, up smash. Not safe, unfortunately. He landed with revenge, thinking that he probably press a button here. Right now, I think he sh Right now, I think he might be pushing a little bit too hard. But Ooh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This, that's just the stuff. That's just how it is. Yeah. Okay. So now we do have a stock lead. Still, we still have a stock. He did the job. He got the job done. Yeah. Now we have a lead against the Pac-Man. Now we should see what our opponent has to say about that and mm -hmm. select who our next player will. Be. We yeah. We'll send them. All right.
decision to our third game, I believe. Okay, we're getting the run back between Trix and the Pac-Man. The first time, the Pac-Man won. Now let's we'll see how Trix has adjusted from the last game, right? The last game where he did lose, but we'll see if he can win when he does have a stock lead. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, how about this match? How do you feel about this one? Mm, I feel like if Trix is able to like play patiently in this matchup, then I don't think he can do it. Yeah, I agree wholeheartedly. Uh, it's it's definitely a battle of attrition, I would say. Mm. He has to s figure out a way to get in and then also deal with Pac-Man's pretty solid boxing tools, I would say. His yeah. nair is really quick, his fair is really quick, down air is also really quick. All of the, the projectiles he's just pulling out. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, that was the, that's yeah. the early game, okay. Now he's just playing, Pac-Man's playing pretty defensively, I would say. Getting yeah. the setups. So much damage already. Oh. But what do we do about this, actually? Uh -huh. Almost gets the setup. Right. Pac-Man also likes to do the random uh, void smashes, and it sometimes works. <laughs> yeah, it, it does. I, I would say it's like, Pac-Man's S-Smash is pretty solid. It lingers for a while. It's pretty, pretty safe, I would say. Yeah. Overall. Okay. Dang. Ooh. Okay. Trix is having a very difficult time adjusting. Pac-Man's playing, playing fairly solid. And it's very hard for him to deal with these tools. Oh, Gets the dare edge guard off stage. Yeah. Very. Oh wow, that also killed him. He just know. He's doing it. Okay. All right. What can he do? Uncomfortable with moving around this platform right here. Okay. It's very hard to hit oh, get yeah. this Pac-Man as well. So difficult. Now Baron has to chase the Pac-Man. He has to chase him, right? He has to like figure out how to equalize the stock so it just gets any type of momentum going. But it's so hard against Pac-Man. If he yeah. zones, then it's like, okay, how do I react oh, to this? It's so hard to get in. It is very difficult to get in. He has items, and then there's the, the Hydrant acting as a wall. You would know a thing or two oh, about yeah. setting up walls, yeah? <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Okay, okay. He's pushing in. Okay, so he's like, no, he's doing with the Hydrant, but it just oh, stops. Wow. Oh, the oh. Ooh, okay. Yeah, he, he, he catched the roll, yeah. yeah. Like, in a weird way, his his grab, like Pac-Man's grab, it's good, but also not good. Oh. Alright, it lingers for a long time, but it's also a pretty long reach. Yeah. It's like the it's like an in-between between like a tether grab. Oh that he ran into the forward smash. Yeah, unfortunate. Yeah, it is what it is. Okay. I'm gonna go communicate with the old.
Okay. All right, we are back, going into the next game. All right, Pac-Man, absolutely turning the tables on us and giving their team back the stock lead. All right, so Volt going in instead of going in with Rob or Samus. Right, he's going back to one of his original uh, mains, which is Cloud. That's actually very interesting. It's Cloud, really good. Yeah, I would say that since Cloud has really solid mobility, really big buttons, and and that, <laughs> and that, which is, um, I believe that's transcendent, so it just goes straight through things. Oh wow! So, as long as he's able to sort of deal with Pac-Man's really solid, I think, pressure, he's been doing very well in terms of like, okay, here's how I want to trap you. I want to make you feel really uncomfortable, so I'm going to be using Bell. I'm going to be using uh, Galaga. If you let go of Shield, you're going to get hit by. The second hit, and then I'm gonna keep pressuring you with fair, after fair nair, stuff like that. So he needs to be very smart in how he yeah. plays in disadvantage against uh, Pac-Man's pressure. But yeah. an advantage is really good. Yeah, like just one combo, he's done like 40, 50 damage, which is a lot for I would say his owner. Okay. Whoa! Almost getting the stock. Okay. okay. If you can just clean it up, right? Clean up. Pac-Man with at least a two-stock lead. I think that's just enough for us to get it back. Oh, he got the dash attack. But there is a, a good amount of potential for him to sort of just straight up take all stocks if he's able to cinch it out very in a very clean way. Right? So far he's playing extremely well. Not really caring about Pac-Man's buttons at the moment. Okay. Pac-Man having a very hard time struggling to sort of get out, right? And deal with uh like Cloud's aerials, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, what he's gonna do? Uh, fair, catches it. Fair. Getting back into center stage. Okay. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. It's all good. Okay, so right now for uh, Bolt, right? His objective, right? Right now he's at the lead. Pac Man is sort of scrambling to sort of get anything going. Right now it's very difficult. But as long as uh, Bolt can play for any of his objectives, like his, uh, his win cons, like okay, getting limit or just getting, getting Pac Man to ledge and then ledge trapping with some side, uh, with, like back air. Yeah. But it's very hard to ledge trap in this connection. So I would say like a stray hit, like you know, cross slash, neutral uh, limit, blade beam. Oh, Speaking of limit, okay. So we're safe. Getting back in. Oh, he's just gonna go in. Yeah. Right. Using key there, interesting. Okay. Oh, oh, just straight up going for it, because it was gonna run out soon, right? If you didn't know, yeah. Cloud's limit does have a timer now. Oh yeah. Like, I believe 15 what? seconds. Uh, yeah, 10, 15 seconds. Ooh, and it gets the, Ooh, the oh. grab. Oh man. Okay. The up smash. That was good. That yeah. was great. That was amazing. <laughs> We're off commentary so Yo, his okay. cloud is coming we'll back. We'll be right back. I gotta, gotta I gotta go talk to the opposing team.
All right, we're getting into the next game. All right, Volt had a amazing like uh, reversal. All right, we got back our stocks, and now we're even against yep. the opposing team. Hopefully, we can cinch this out and grab a grab a victory. So it's one one. All right, yeah. e equalizes even more. So right now he's fighting against um, Alex or you know Steve, but no, yeah, that's Alex. This, the character skin is Alex, right? I ain't gonna say anything different, but this is a character <laughs> that you are familiar Ooh, with, and even more so, a matchup that you're even he's more so. very familiar with it. He's been uh, playing me. <laughs> plays against you a lot. Yeah. So he should have no problem overall dealing with, you know, yeah. uh, Alex's general like shenanigans, I would say. Okay. But still, somewhat difficult for. The, the Alex to get in right now is somewhat struggling, yeah. but all oh, yeah. all uh, Alex needs is a straight hit, and this is difficult. That oh, was untackable. Untackable anvil. Oh no. Very hard. Okay, but still, this is still doable. Can make a comeback. Okay. All he needs is a solid back air, or oh, just a straight hit overall. <clears throat> okay. Ooh, Alex has diamond now. Never he mind. Swain still has now. diamond, but you know. Yeah. Running over to crafting table. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay, they, they have access the to that. Yeah. yeah, that means maximum damage is now available. Okay. Scared to get down. Oh, no. for sure. I would be. <laughs> Cloud is mean. <laughs> oh, there's the. Okay, good punish. Ooh, Ooh didn't. Oh, no. <laughs> didn't deal with it in time. It's okay. Smacked Cloud away with their giant sword. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> He's just getting that's hit the classic. by the random point smashes. What do you mean? That's the Steve. That's the like that's, that's the Steve classic or the Alex classic. Oh, he tried. He tried. Oh no. He risked it all. Oh, no. What does he do? There's literally <laughs> two spaces you don't want to be in. Okay. Oh, gets hit by the redstone. Uh, yeah. Cart. Redstone mine cart. Yeah. Okay. Gets diamond again. What is this? Oh man. Yeah. Okay. They still have diamond, no? Mhm. Mm that's an extra diamond. Oh my goodness. What is this? Okay. Then all we need to do is essentially just cinch the stock, take as much as you can, right yes. there. Okay. Yes. So let's just say, you know, hypothetically, diamond. hypothetically, right? Volt's feeling a little bit cheesy. Okay. Yeah. Takes Alex off stage. You know, oh. does does a little bit of an upbeat. You know, at 54% off stage. He really needs to keep the pressure going because he's Alex is actually running out of materials. That is true. Damn. Only a little bit of wood, a bit of stone, and a bit of iron, but that's still enough to take a stock here. Okay, what is he gonna do? Landing back air. This is this is still anybody's game, but right now Cloud has one of the wing cons. Okay, but oh, Steve also has the wing con, but no more iron. Okay, gets the cross slash. Unfortunately, the block is in the way. Hopefully, he can get a solid ledge trap here. Gets the back air. Gets That's the, the stock. That's nice job. Stock. Wow. Let's go, Pat. Okay, we're gonna go talk to our opponent real quick. We'll be right back.
right. So, uh, Cloud versus the Mega Man. Okay, this is their last player. Right now we have a four stock lead. If we can flush this out, that would mean it's 1-1, and the next round is winner takes basically all, or we win, yeah. or, lo or we lose. Yeah. No, I wouldn't mind losing these players. They're pretty good. Our but are really good. Yeah. Right now, so overall, the Mega Man absolutely, there, there's no question. He destroyed us in the first round, oh, right? Yeah, uh, like he, he's crazy. Uh, he's nuts. Like he's their um, star player. Yeah. Like, I would say so, yeah. I believe he, uh, he's their captain, but regardless, right? I think Cloud versus Mega Man, it's very hard for Mega Man to effectively zone. So what Mega Man has to do is he has to play unorthodox. He has to use his fairy, he has to use his bear, he has to use lemons in a smart way to catch Cloud's jump because he is a sortie and you know what sorties like to do? They love to jump and try to use their aerials. So right now you see already Mega Man's trying to sort of keep him grounded and then preemptively trying to cast jump with back air. He loves using back air, he's really strong with it. But so does Cloud, right? Okay, using Crash Bomber, crosses up with the fair, unfortunately does the up late. Okay, oh, uh, here's a punish, back throw. Right now he's, yeah, there's the jump I talked about, he loves catching jump. Oh, but he recovers successfully, does not care about Crash Bomber, covers himself recovering with Crash Bomber. Okay, okay, so right now, uh, he's at 109%. Right. Cool. Catches oh, the jump. The jump, yeah. Yep, like right. I said, he loves catching jump. He loves catching jumps. All right. All right, we're going into what is potent, what could potentially be our last game of the day, or maybe the beginning of a comeback. It's a reverse 2-0. It all depends on how our resident C main performs on this stage. And again, the Mega Man, I can't stress it enough, he, perf he performed extremely well, mm -hmm. right? Probably, he's, he's definitely their ace player, I would say. Right? Not, 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 of course, not dumping on the other players. They're all, they're all also phenomenal. I'm just saying, specifically, the Mega Man, he's been performing extremely well. Okay. But let's see how 
a resident seed main, Mitro, performs against Mega Man. Okay. Setting up the wall. Overall, okay. Crosses up. Gets the f the really awkward bear. It's fine. Okay. Here's neutral. Jab, jab. Nope. Mm -hmm. Okay. The anvil pokes through shield. Gets the iron back. Okay. Oh my god. Jab to... Maybe he could have gotten an extension for that. But regardless, we're pushing forward. Okay. Just grab. Strong arm. Hard to deal with that. Don't you dare. Okay, you're good. <laughs> I got scared because I'm like, don't jump. But they're jumping. But it's fine. Make... Uh, okay, the cross up with Leaf Shield. Leaf Shield used to be better in that um, he was actionable during it. Like, he could actually, like, do stuff. Mm. And it would actually act like a shield. But now it's sort of a commitment for the most part. Okay. That's bird working out really well for him. How do you feel about the matches you, you, you've seen so far, actually? Uh, you're going to be playing pretty soon, I would say. Right now. How do you feel about the, the competition that you've seen today? Uh, definitely telling me I need to study up more on the matchups here, especially with these uh, kind of characters, right? Uh, we don't run in into these type of characters too often. Yeah, yeah too often in our local area. I think it'll be a good experience for you guys overall, right? Because if you're only like used to fighting certain characters, that means you're sort of, of course, inexperienced with others, right? And it's going to be a learning experience, I would say. Right? And there's a lot of characters in this game where you need to learn about many different things, I would say. Right. Getting the confirm that's it that's that's the setup. You need to you gotta have some some magic fingers to get out of that one. Promise you. Okay. Hard for Steve to land here. What is he gonna do? Down to low. The really been catching that. Yeah, he has been. Alright, he's waiting patiently. Drops the stuff. It's okay. Drops the combo. It's just unfortunate. Burst. Ooh, gets hit by both of them. Well, he got something he got a care package of his own, right? Mega Man has down air. He Steve has <laughs> Anvil. Mitro's oh. been doing really great with these setups too. Yeah, I feel that uh, Mitro has adjusted a lot better in this matchup. Okay, it doesn't get hit because for some reason Steve hangs so low on the ledge. So it's hard for him to deal with that. Right now, as you can see, the Mega Man's playing it right. He's guarding that that crafting table with his life. He does not want Steve to get diamonds or anything. Miss times the jump, gets hit by the, f the F smash. Well, I mean, it probably wasn't miss time. He just, he just finally got it. Okay. Ooh, not too much damage, but it stacks up. Okay. Finally goes in for the burst option. Okay. He has a lead. He has a, he has a mean thing on his face. <laughs> okay. It's fine. Well, he tried doing a setup there. Gets the bear. Okay, this is doable. He is one stock away from making the dream happen. Okay. Amazing stuff from the Mega Man. Ca catches him out. Okay, what's what's Macho's response? Okay, back to the mine again. Here we go. So much damage Macho from the diamond. So oh much my god. Him. Okay, one more thing like that. He has diamond again. No way. No, oh, he's good. He's good. He is... He's, he's living! Okay. He's not scared. You've learned it. Okay. See the patience? The patience. The ability to not... Okay. What is he going to do? What is he going to do? What are you going to do against this? Okay, you're good. All right. So much percent on, on Mitro right now. But he still has diamond. This is possible. 103 percent. He's getting so much okay. out of these uh, these cards and these lines. He has he has <laughs> no. He does backer to backer. Ah, nice try. <laughs> GG's. Good job. All right. So I'm gonna talk with, with the our opponents later, but I just want to sign off. GG's. GG's to WSU. All right, those were amazing games. We got 2-0'd, all right? But it is what it is. The last one was close, though. The 2-0, but close, though, okay? Um, I'd like to, you know, thank everybody f for coming out and watching our games, all right? We really do appreciate it here over at, here at the Trident Esports. Um, I like sponsors. Our sponsors are, what were our sponsors again? I'm so bad at this. Uh, Glidepath, I'd like to thank Glidepath. I'd like to thank GTA. I'd like to thank I think there's a few more. There's Mac Tech National Wall. Guard too, right? Yep. 
So those uh, three, those three are our main ones. But thank you guys for sponsoring us and allowing us to do what what, what we love to do here. And we're at uh, Yoji. Okay. Yeah. This is Michael Park and Darren Palmins. Well, we're signing off. Thank you so much. Have a great day. We understand an upside down world, but they're writing us off before we get to the starting line. A stalled generation? Who do you think is gonna fix all this? We will, because our future is the future. The next greatest generation is now. We all start somewhere. We start with the day. We start with him. We start with family. We start with a lesson. And the perfect wave. We start here and here. We start at your office and your home. We start with the connections that matter the most. The ones that move us change us, inspire us. In an ever-expanding world, personal connections are what tie everything together, what ties us together. We all start somewhere. At GTA, we start with you.